everybody. Um, my name is Gayla and I'm the owner of I Need Your Body Health and Wellness Studio here in Dale City, Oklahoma. Um, I'm actually at home today. Um, we did the yoga and meditation discussion yesterday, but it didn't save and we had some technical difficulties at the beginning anyway. Um, so I wanted to just come back and record the actual yoga flow for you guys. Um, it's going to be short, it's going to be simple, the majority of it will be seated, um, but for those who wanted the flow so that they can go back and do it once they got home or, you know, to watch it later, I wanted to make sure I recorded it and um, posted it for you guys. So, we're going to get started and we're going to actually start with a little bit of just deep breathing, just nothing fancy, a few deep breaths. So, we're going to sit crisscross if your knees um are irritated or this is just not in your practice then you can always go for straight legs um if wide leg is more comfortable you can do that as well so whatever works you're just going to start seated nice and comfortable sit up tall you're going to take a few deep breaths you can close your eyes you can keep them open whatever works and just Breathe in and out. We kind of talked about breath work yesterday. So in order to kind of calm your body, you want to make sure that your exhales are a little bit longer than your inhales. So if you're going to inhale, you want to exhale just a little bit longer. We're going to take a few more breaths. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more breath, and relax it all out, nice, so we're still sitting up nice and tall, and then drop your chin down to your chest, And roll back up the center. Look all the way back up towards the ceiling. And come back to center. You're going to drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Left ear down to the left shoulder. And then bring the head back to center. We're going to roll our shoulders out, so you're going to bring them all the way up close to the ears, drop them all the way down and back. So bring them up, dropping them down. Just a couple times to the back, and then a few times to the front. Nice. Go ahead and bring it back to center. You're going to plant your right hand down to the floor. So you can either go for the tinted fingers, or if you think you want to come all the way down to the forearm, you can try that. So whichever one works, I'm going to go for forearm. So I'm going to plant my forearm on the floor, and then I'm going to use my left arm and reach up and over for a good side stretch. And then I'm going to switch and come to the opposite side, plant the left forearm, reach up and over with the right. I'm just going to go back and forth. Until we get three stretches on each side. So this is two. Last one on the right. And then last one on the left. Bring it back to center. You're going to stretch both arms all the way up. And then you're going to do a small twist down to the right. Back to center, reach the arms up, and twist down to the left. And come back to center, reach it all the way up. And we're going to do a forward fold, come all the way to the front, lean over as much as you can, try to get that chest as low as you can. And then roll it up slow. 
Okay? So we're just going to, if your legs are crossed, uncross and cross again, opposite leg on top. And then we're going to reach all the way up. Okay, twist to the right one more time. Come back to center, big reach up. And then down to the left. And come back to center, reach all the way up, and then that forward fold one more time. And roll it up slow. Good. So now we're going to go for a straight leg. You can take your legs straight out. If you're at home and you're on your yoga mat, you would turn long legs, right? I'm just going to stay facing this way so you guys can see. Okay, so we're going to do a seated forward fold. Both legs are stretched out in front. I'm going to reach my arms all the way up, and then I'm going to come into a forward fold all the way over. Roll it up slow. Big reach up. And forward fold. Roll it up slow. And we're gonna go for one more, reach all the way up. And forward fold all the way over. Make sure when you do these forward folds, you're grabbing something. So it could be your shins, your ankles, your toes, bottoms of the feet, whatever works. So make sure you're getting a good stretch down the back of the legs. Let's roll it up slow. We're going to cross our right leg over the left. Line the ankle up with the knee. And then we're going to twist over the knee and to the right. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. You don't want to be hunched over. And we're going to come back to the center. We're going to do a figure four stretch. So all you're going to do is move that right leg over until your right ankle is above your left knee. So we're still crossed. My left leg is straight. My right leg is bent. Right ankle above the left knee. Okay, so this is going to be a hip stretch. We're going to feel it right in here. I'm going to reach all the way up. Fold it forward. And roll it up slow. We're just going to swap to the other side. So I'm crossing my left leg over the right, lining my ankle up with the knee. I'm going to twist over the knee to the left. Again, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. If this left foot is flat, great. If it's not, that's okay. Come back to center, figure four on this side. Left ankle above the right knee, right leg is still straight. Left knee is bent, fold it forward. And roll it up slow. We're gonna go one more, seated forward fold, both legs out, reach all the way up, fold it over. This time, try to go a little bit deeper. See if you can pull your chest in a little bit more. And then roll it up slow. Good. Okay, now let's transition to all fours. So we're going to come into tabletop. Our knees are going to be underneath our hips. Our wrists are going to be underneath our shoulders. And we're just going to start with a little um, cat-cow. You're gonna round your spine all the way up. And you're gonna sink the tummy all the way down. So round your spine 
all the way up towards the ceiling. The head should come down. You should be able to look between your thighs and sink the tummy all the way down to the mat. The head is going to come up. Let's do one more of those. Round the spine. Take it all the way up towards the ceiling. And then sink the tummy down all the way towards the mat. And come back to center. So again, you shouldn't have moved, but just in case, check your setup. Make sure your wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. We're going to go for opposite hands to opposite feet. So you're going to extend that right leg, extend the left arm. We're just going to hold. Make sure your tummy is tight. And then we're going to switch. Right arm, left leg. Switch. Continue to rock it back and forth. 
And you're going to bring your feet down to the mat. Feet are about hip width apart. Relax the arms out to the side. We're going to knock out a few bridges. So you're going to lift your hips all the way up. Keep pressing, pressing, pressing. Once you get as high as you can go, you're going to squeeze your glutes and then roll it down slow. We're going to do that two more times. Again, you're going to lift all the way up. Squeeze and then roll it down slow. One more, lift it up, squeeze, and then roll it down slow. Hug the knees into the chest. You're gonna open your arms out to a T. You're gonna leave your knees together. We're gonna dip down and to the right. So both knees are gonna fall down to the right side. You want to make sure your shoulders stay on the floor so we're not rolling over, right? This is more of a twist. My shoulders are still down on the floor. The bottom half is doing the work. So bring it back to the center. Drop the legs down and to the left. Same thing. Shoulders are down. My knees are still stacked. Come back to the center. We're going to hold. The right knee in, but that left leg is going to go all the way down to the floor. Sorry guys, we got um, real life happening here. So my dog is going back and forth. You probably heard my son sneezing. Grass is getting cut. Dishwasher is going. <laughs> it's real life. All right. Right leg goes straight up in the air. You can either uh, grab hamstrings, you can grab calves, you can grab ankles, toes, whatever you can reach. Point is, on this stretch, we want our hamstrings to be doing the work. So we want those legs to be as straight as possible. Hug that right knee in, and then let's swap it out. So left knee comes in, right leg goes all the way down. Almost done. Hang in there. Same thing on this side. We're going to extend that left leg. You can grab either hamstrings, calves, ankles, toes, whatever you can reach. Again, just make sure that leg is straight. You want to feel the stretch on those hamstrings. This is the point of the practice where we would normally go into Savasana, which is the last uh, pose or final pose. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of options and then you can pause the video, take as long as you want. Um, I'm not going to stay that long and then we'll pick it back up to our last stretches. So traditionally, you would start with your legs stretched out, but I'm going to show you a couple of other options. So if I just bring my feet back down to the mat, my feet are wide, about the width of my yoga mat, maybe even a little bit wider. I'm going to tent the knees, right? They're going to fall in towards the center. Or I can bring the bottoms of my feet together, let the legs fall out. Or the traditional route, again, is for legs to be straight, falling out, my arms out to the side. Then you're just going to take a couple of deep breaths and relax. So again, this is where you would pause the video once you got situated. You can stay here as long as you want. Just taking some breaths and relaxing. And whenever you're ready, you're going to start to put a little movement back into your fingers, back into your toes, hug those knees, back into the chest. Add a little rock side to side, and a crisscross of ankles, and roll it back up to seated. I'm going to come back to the center of the mat. 
Again, I choose to go crisscross. Um, you can do legs straight out, maybe a wide leg, seated position, whatever works. We're just going to end with those same stretches that we started with. Go ahead and drop the chin down to the chest. Roll the head back through center and then drop it all the way back. Look up towards the ceiling. And back to center, drop right ear to right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Come back to center. We're going to do chin to chest one more time. This time, take the head all the way around. Big circle, one in each direction. Again, all the way around. One in each direction. Once you're done, bring your head back to center. Just roll the shoulders out a couple times. Take it to the front. And then again, reaching the arms all the way up. Twist it to the right. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. We're not hunched over. Bringing it back to center. Reach it all the way up. And twist down to the left. Coming back to center, reach all the way up and forward fold all the way over. Roll it up slow. One more. Uncross. Cross again, opposite leg on top. Again, if your legs are stretched out, that's fine. Reach the arms all the way up. Twist down into the right. Bringing it back to center, reach it up. Twist down into the left. Bringing it back to center, reach it up. Forward fold all the way over. Rolling it up slow. And then we're going to end with three breaths. On those breaths, we're going to circle our arms all the way up. There'll be a brief hold at the top. We're going to exhale and come back to heart center. Okay? So we're going to take three of those. Go ahead and shake everything out. Get nice and relaxed. I like to take my hands out to the side to start here. Big inhale. Circle all the way up. Big breath. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. And again, starting with the hands out to the side. Inhale, circle up. Big breath. Exhale, hands down to heart center. And last one. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Let's talk a moment here and just take a few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. So that was a quick seated flow, about 20 minutes. A um, little bit of breath work at the end. You can add some meditation in with this. Some of the things we talked about yesterday, um, getting you a mantra, focusing on that. Um, any of those things you want to add to your practice is totally up to you. If you just come and have a seat and just breathe, that's still yoga. So remember that. Um, you can do it anywhere. You can be in the car. You can be at work. You can be at home. You can be in the bed. Um, whenever, whatever. There's lots of ways that you can practice doing yoga. It's not just about the postures that we do on the mat. So, if you guys need any help, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me 
yep. Um, everything is I Need Your Body. I'm definitely more active on Instagram than on Facebook. Um, but if you need me on Facebook, just search for I Need Your Body um, Health and Wellness Studio. It should pop right up. And same for uh, Instagram. Everything is I Need Your Body. And uh, classes are back in studio. So if you're in the area, remember you can join me at the studio. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 in the evening, there is yoga. And then in the daytime right now, it's Wednesdays and Fridays. And it's at 12 p.m. Um, that class is yoga stretch. The drop-in rate is $10. So you can just drop into any class. But please register online because the um, seating, of course, is limited because of everything that's going on. So register online, but the drop-in is only $10. And guys, listen, if you don't have it, come anyway. <laughs> um, hit me up, let me know, and I would love to still have you. Um, coming up next week, I'm going to be doing a uh, community class. That class will be free. It'll be Saturday at 10 a.m. And... Um, just for everybody to just come together, I'm going to have slots available online as well as in the studio. So if you can't make it to the studio, be sure to check in and get registered online. It is going to be via Zoom if you're online. So you'll have to register in order to get the link. And um, if you want to practice in studio, you're more than welcome to. After that, I will have a regular online class on Saturdays. Um, and once you register, register for that, you'll be able to get the links as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, one more thing. So next Sunday, I'll be hosting a workshop at my studio. Uh, it is for women and it's going to be about, um, basically it's not a concealed carry class, but it's more like education. So basically just a space where you can come and ask questions, you know, what gun do you need to buy? Um, we're going to be practicing some gun handling, um, you know, talking about laws and what you can and can't do. Um, I have an officer, my studio again is in Dell City, and there's an officer that is um, pretty regularly, you know, coming around checking on our, our businesses in that area. And so we've teamed up, I'm going to have him there, and he's going to be the one that is answering all of those questions. So. Um, again, seating is very limited. I'm not going to post an event or anything about that, but if you would like to attend, please hit me up and let me know. Um, you can drop a comment wherever this video is posted and I will get you added to the list. Um, again, that is going to be taking place next Sunday at the studio and that is um, a free option. You just bring your little lawn chair and we'll come in and he's going to talk to us and just, you know, give us the information that we need to know. Uh, I believe that is it. Again, I need your body, K-N-E-A-D, on all social media. Please hit me up. Let me know how the practice was. If you're going to watch this and then do it later, um, let me know how it went. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.